It's another good event. It's not a stinking hot day like it usually is. Yeah, mate. Nah, she's turned out just dandy. Nice and cool in the morning for the stock and end with a bit of sunshine. Can't ask for anything better, mate. So this is a different time of year to be holding the rodeo, what is it? Well, um, we hold it usually um, box, Boxing Day, but um, we've got got to go to Gisborne on the 27th and a Portiki on the 28th, so it's um, it'll be rush, 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 and, and with a with a couple of weeks uh, rest, we could you know get all the stock away and we gather and um, come back ready for uh, Gisborne and a Portiki. That's right, because you usually would have to go straight after this one to Gisborne and Portiki. Yeah, yeah, mate, that's right, and um, and it just just takes a load off everyone's. Um, agenda when, when when they just uh, you know you just cruise along and, and uh, give the stock a bit of a rest too. So, no. so we're going to see it about this time of year next year. Yeah, mate. Yep, with bells on. <laughs> bells on. With his naughty bed. Yep. Nah, it's pretty sweet. So um, how how the how the event go today? Oh, it was it was pretty awesome. Um, there was no injuries, and that's a bonus. Uh, the stock performed well. There was no injuries either to the to the you know, stock or to the uh, cowboys, so it's a win-win situation, and uh, the sun's shining on us now, so have a few beers and canny canny. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the this is the first comp in the North Island for the season, isn't it? Aye, yep. Uh, they had a couple at Labour Week in um, down down um, Winchester and Methven, so. Um, yeah, a couple, a few of the boys will be all warmed up. You know, for a couple of us, it's it's our first outing, so good to get the old uh, eye, uh, wrinkles ironed out, so to speak. Anyone starting to shine already? Oh yeah, there's there's a few shiners. Uh, young Tehiko Neil in the bull ride, and Aaron Church Jr. in the calf roping, and cousin Hayden looked like he's back in form in the bulldogging. So. Um, you know, and Rex and uh, Rex Church and Joe Fenneman took out the bareback. It's yeah, it's pretty pretty cool, pretty cool, mate. Well, we had, a, had the passing of uh, the bro this year too. How's it been going with that? Yeah, oh, it's, it's uh, pretty hard, pretty hard to um, t- to take in, and uh, it's it's been really sad. But you know, it's it's uh, just soldier on, and um, you know, it's. Uh, we give him a good farewell, so we'll just um, make him proud of us, because uh, he was he was like you know he was up up there like my old man. They just something special. Yeah, yeah. Came as a real surprise to everyone. Didn't oh, it sure did, mate. Um, you know he was so fit. You know there was uh, nothing. He was he was fit as fitter than anyone I know, and wow, it's just just hard to see. It's the thing that happens to anyone, doesn't it? Yeah, mate. You're not yeah. riding. Yep, yep, oh. have a stab, have a stab, <laughs> yeah. And how's it looking for you this year? Oh, not that, not that great job. Oh, all right, better than a kick in the ass or the frozen boot, but it's it's not too bad. Get the first one under your belt, you're away. Mm. How did last year go? Oh, it was, it was all right, still uh, not as good as one would hope, but hey, you know, you look forward to the next year and, and work on what you, uh, what, what, uh, you know, work on what you bucket up last year. <laughs> Is there a couple of um, events on for this year that you would recommend people to get along to? Oh, there's a, there's a few. Um, a Portiki, mm. um, they, they always have a crowd pleaser and the, the, it's just packed. And uh, oh, either one, eh, Topol, if you're around yeah, Topol, yeah, yeah that, that's just uh, wicked because uh, it'll, it's, they just put it, put it on, turn it on, you know, good stock and can't sort of complain when there's good stock yeah. and a bit of money up for grabs. Well great, I hear there's a couple of the Bird Brothers here so we're going to go and find out what the New Zealand bull riding are up to this year as well. Yeah, no, that'll be the one. Good. Yeah, they're always good for a few words. They're always good for a few words, the old birds. <laughs> the old manus, they yeah, they, they keep it real and that. We're talking to the notorious Shane Bird. <laughs> it's been a few years since I've seen you. It has been a few years, yeah. It's been good though. Yeah, how is, um, probably we'll start off with that, probably not many people actually realise there's New Zealand Rodeo and then there's New Zealand Bull Riding. Yeah, that's right, there's two separate associations. So each year they uh, run separate events and you have different champions in each of each uh, association too. So you have two New Zealand champions every year in the Bull Riding year. It's interesting to see New Zealand Bull Riding here though. 
and, and this event. Yeah, well, it's just this is a rodeo, but you get the same guys riding at the same events. You get the same, you know, we fight bulls at the same events, and the bulls go to the same events too. So it's all. I mean, New Zealand's only small, so. But yeah, you get it. It's just the, all the same guys go everywhere, everywhere they can. Part of the New Zealand bull riding is extreme bull riding, which is uh, took quite a fancy to. <laughs> is that still going? No, nah, they haven't run for a few years. The, the couple that were running that just uh, took out some time to have a family in that, so uh, they've been busy doing that. But uh, we're still running the same type of events in the same type of places. So uh, yeah, but they just haven't run an extreme bull riding since uh, we last caught up, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Wonder what happened. So, can you tell us the difference between New Zealand rodeo events and New Zealand bull riding events? So, a rodeo is a full rodeo, has seven events. You've got your bull riding, which is always the last event, but then you've got saddle bronc bareback riding on the fucking horses and your timed events like the uh, rope and tie steer wrestling, team roping, which are all done on horseback, and then there's the ladies barrel racing as well. And then bull riding events, so just bull riding. So we take that, you know, the bull riding is the main event at the rodeo, so we just take that and make a spectacle of that and make a sort of a two or three hour show out of it and ride more bulls and... Yeah, just make it sort of a full-on show out of that, only. So, um, some events, has the, this season's events started? Yeah, they have, yep, we've had two, we've had three events this year so far for bull, for the bull ridings, and there's still one, possibly two more to go, so uh, probably a quieter year this year. Last year we had seven events all up, so we might get five, five out of this year, hopefully we're going to plan. Okay, so when's, where's the next event? The next one will be down in Kim Bolton at Park Lee, which is on the 14th of January, Saturday the 14th of January. In the backyard? In the backyard for home there, so it's good for me, yep, it's uh, down at Mum and Dad's place, so we have Mum and Dad's bulls and yeah. Mum and Dad's place, and me and my brother fighting bulls, it's a pretty family sort of arranged deal, so yeah. It's all good. Awesome. Shane, thanks for your time. No worries. Okay, back to me. <laughs> we'll take you into the studio.